Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 8 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now today's episode is going to be a little bit more of a lengthy tutorial because I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a standard YouTube background. So of course you guys are going to need a template for a YouTube background. If you guys don't already have one, definitely open up the description, click on that and I'll give you guys my personal YouTube template that I use. So as you guys see, the template that I was talking about is of course on the screen right now. And what we're going to be doing is just make a nice professional looking standard YouTube background. Now we're not going to be making anything flashy, so if you guys want a more flashy tutorial definitely leave it in the comment sections below and I'll definitely work on one for you guys but I have already made some 3d uh, graffiti text right here and I'm going to be using the color scheme with this nice baby blue so that's another big thing that we will be using is just the same color scheme now guys on a YouTube background you guys are going to want to stick to a two to four color scheme none other than that uh, a two color scheme um, it looks really nice if you guys are just trying to stick to those two colors maybe you only like those two colors or up to four because um, you can really make some nice text and you can really make a background flow off two colors um, but it just can't be overpacked so now that I have this text right here I'm just going to actually drag it in to my template now of course uh, like I said you guys are going to need to download my template so definitely open that up and uh, let's get started so now that I have my 3d text in here you guys can use really any text any standard 2d text would work also 3d text um, just is kind of taken over and it looks better so I'm going to uh, rotate this to negative 90 degrees and if you guys don't know how to um, do that all you have to do is press control T while you guys are selected on your text file um, go up here to this kind of uh, it looks like an angle button and then type in negative 90 up here now after I have had done that I'm going to hold down shift and this is going to maintain the aspect ratio of my text file and then I'm going to uh, kind of drag it um, over here now I want to make this a little bit more small because a lot of people don't have full HD monitors like I do so they're not gonna be able to see all this stuff that's out here now of course I can so I'm just gonna make it look um, good and appealing to my eye of course and then I'm going to actually move this graffiti a little bit down now when you guys are importing your text file you want to make sure that it is under the content area as you see right over here in my layers panel you guys don't want it over the graffiti um, you don't want it over the content area sorry for that and uh, you guys want to make sure it's under it because that's what YouTube is going to do it's going to make this background push under all the content area that it has so after we have that we're just going to mess with our arrow keys and just uh, put it wherever we want and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, copy the graffiti um, so we're going to hold down control J while we are on the graffiti layer and it's going to make a graffiti copy and we're going to push that under the graffiti um, regular copy and I'm gonna hold down control T and I'm going to take uh, the um, aspect ratio and I'm actually kinda kinda mess with it uh, just so it looks a little nice and then we're going to push it up of course as well so after we do that now we can uh, kind of just mess around with it and fit it to your preference and after you do that just turn down the opacity to about 25% because that's what uh, we're going to be working with after we add a couple more things so after we have this done we want to hold down control and we want to actually click the regular graffiti and we're actually going to center these up so to do that we just want to hit our vertical margins and our horizontal margins uh, button that can be found right up here and after we have that that means that our text is dead square in the middle of uh, both these text files and now we can move them down to our location that we had them at uh, once more so after we do that we want to just move these guys down to right about there that looks good and we're going to of course uh, I don't know why I know why I turned the opacity back up but we're going to move it back down to 25% and then what we want to do is add a texture now if you guys want to use the same texture I'm going to be using uh, open up the description once again and it's going to be found right underneath uh, the YouTube template so if uh, download that if you guys want it as well and then drag it into Photoshop and then we're going to size it down just a little bit of course hold down shift so you maintain the aspect ratio of it and right about there looks good and then what we're going to do is hold down alt and click right in between the concrete and graffiti copy now before I do do this we want to make sure that the concrete layer is right in between the regular graffiti copy and the graffiti copy um, itself like the actual copy of the graffiti so after we have uh, the concrete so it should say uh, you know your text file concrete and then um, your text file copy 
Now take the concrete and hold down Alt. And right in between the graffiti copy and the concrete, we're just going to click. And then it's going to make uh, the concrete uh, texture go on to the text. And while we are selected on our concrete layer, we're going to come up here to normal. And we're going to set it down to overlay. Now after we have it down to overlay, we can just mess around um, with it and uh, put it where it's going to look good. So right about there looks good to me. And then we're actually going to duplicate the concrete. So it's going to be concrete copy now. And then we're going to uh, just add it again, just so it looks a little bit more darker and people know that there is a texture um, on uh, that text. So right about there looks good. So now we have a uh, kind of nice text going on on the left side of our screen. It's going to kind of welcome your audience and it's going to look uh, really professional and it looks really nice as well. So now we're going to add kind of our slogan, punchline, etc., etc., at the top. Now, if you guys don't have one, uh, I would definitely recommend thinking of one because it just kind of gives that uh, flavor to your channel um, as well. So mine is just a 17-year-old kid with a mean imagination. Don't steal it, guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to type that out real quick. And uh, I would recommend doing it in all capital letters. Uh, I just think it looks better. So just a 17 year old kid with a mean imagination. All right, so after we have that, we just want to put it up here. And to actually get it just centered with your composition, hold down control when you're on your text file and just hit backdrop. And then hit uh, this uh, fifth button in right here. And that'll center it up right in the middle of uh, your backdrop. And then just kind of uh, play with the placement of it. And right there looks good. Now, I would definitely recommend a white color, or you guys can kind of mess around with a white to gray uh, combination with your guys' uh, gradient overlay style. But I already have one right here, so I'm just going to lay that down on that. And let me zoom in on it real quick for you. And then uh, mine looks like that. So I definitely like how uh, it's up there. And you guys can also play around with the spacement by just taking your typing tool, um, highlight this all, and then actually come over here into your character menu. And then uh, the AV that says 200, I would definitely um, kind of just spread them apart. So mine's at 400 now. And uh, it just kind of gives a uh, just a nice little look that's uh, on your background. Now, a thing that I really like to do on standard background is there's not really a lot you can do with a standard background just because of the fact that um, there's not just a lot of going on here. Uh, you only have the open space on the sides and you don't want to clutter up with a bunch of stuff. So what I like to do is uh, kind of mess around with this top. Uh, it almost acts like a like uh, inch banner, so that's kind of nice um, that you guys still have that. But there's not really much that you can do with it. So what we're going to do is uh, come up here to content area, and we're going to make a new layer. To make a new layer, of course, uh, just hit this kind of square right next to this trash can. And we're going to basically uh, just use a path tool and make kind of like this uh, rectangle uh, slash. So to uh, complete this task, what we're going to do is, of course, hit our pen tool that can be found right above the typing tool. And we're just going to just click anywhere that we want for right now, hold down shift, and then kind of go horizontal. Um, and when I mean horizontal, it's like diagonal. So it makes a complete 45 degree angle and it will maintain that angle um, throughout the whole thing. So as you see, it won't make it all the way down there. So now we have that. And then just uh, complete it to make it look kind of like this. If um, you guys didn't really follow that, uh, basically all I did is I just clicked anywhere, hold, held down shift, went diagonal from that point, and then I just made a shape um, that kind of looks like almost like a loading bar. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so when we're on our layer of one, we're going to right click. I'm going to say fill path. And then the contents, I'm going to say use color. And then I'm going to sample the color that's over here uh, from my text. Now, since I do have this kind of reflection going on with my text, I can either sample this color or this color. Um, they're not too different, uh, but they are different. So I'm going to sample the brighter color. And I'm going to say OK. And then uh, when it says fill path, just say OK. And that's going to fill in with that same color that's from your text. And that's how you guys can keep uh, the same color scheme going on. So now we can just delete this path by saying right click and delete path. And now we have just this kind of nice uh, looking dash and we just want to center it up with that corner and then say control J on layer one, bring it on over. And then I would say just um, not very far from each other. And then just uh, come over here to the layer one copy and go to blending options, say color overlay. It's going to obviously default to red and then go white. 
Um, just because uh, white and this blue look really good together, I really like it. Um, and then just uh, keep doing the step. Now I can take layer one, uh, control J that, and then um, you guys can really make however many copies you guys want of this kind of loading uh, bar style. I'm just going to do three. So after I have all those made, I'm going to actually take them. I'm going to just combine them as one by saying control E and that's just going to merge the layers together. And I'm going to say control J on that layer, control T, and then I'm going to right click after I have that in transform mode and then flip horizontal. Now when I do that, it's just going to literally mirror the image over and we can just throw it down over on this corner or right over here. So after we have that, now our background is, um, it's kind of uh, looking like it's coming together and stuff, which I really like the look of this. It does look really nice and it looks pretty professional. Now, if you do have a customized logo that you've made for yourself or you have um, a Twitter, Facebook or something like that, you could definitely throw it over here. Now, let me open up my, my, um, my background template real quick for you guys. And we're going to open up backgrounds. And here's my background. My current background's right here. And what we want to do is we're just going to kind of recreate this. Um, it's pretty simple. You guys just get a bunch of logos and put them in with each other. I'm not going to obviously show you guys how to do that because that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just, you know, you, you just make a bunch of text files, throw on the logos, and say, you know, at Posh Designs, Posh Designs. Um, just say your information. So we're just going to carry out this on over here and we'll throw it in right about there all right so that's what that will look like um after we have the uh like kind of it's i call it a hit me up box because it just says all your information that they can um kind of contact you with and then that looks pretty nice as it is right now now you guys of course can throw in a bunch of you know stock um to make it kind of pop uh, my most favorite stock is kind of like that space uh type of stuff so i would definitely recommend if you guys are going to use any photo stock um i love the space type of stuff and i can show you what i mean um by opening up screenshots and going to space um it just looks really nice i love uh the type of stock that the space comes with um so you guys can really add in whatever you want i can use this real quick um just take this into photoshop put that right there we want to kind of enlarge it right about there and we want to put that under all this stuff and then while you're on that just go to overlay sorry go to overlay and then it'll kind of overlay over your background and it just looks kind of nice um, I wouldn't recommend doing it on this background at all because you know our theme is not um, really space here so I would definitely recommend not using this one on this type of background but definitely if you guys are looking to uh, make kind of a spacey background definitely space stock is really awesome well guys I think this is all I have for the standard YouTube background um, this is just to make a nice looking background that kind of appeals to your audience um, and is not too flashy and it's pretty professional so if you guys did like this tutorial tutorial and uh, if you guys learned something new, please definitely drop a big like. It definitely keeps these videos coming and it keeps the GFX Fridays um, coming as well. If you guys do have any requests for future GFX Tip Fridays, definitely leave them in the comment sections below. I'll definitely look over them and I'll pick another one for next GFX Tip Friday. So guys, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Astronome, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep. Let me out, fuck all that shit, just let me go Owers and taste makers, makers no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man